day five of vacation and I'm making a video driving a sump pump too windy to do anything else so I figured I'd get all my tools out which is stay in my toolbox anyway and start getting at it <coughs> Vacation hasn't been too bad. Still working out the kinks. I've never camped in a camper before, so it's kind of a kind of a downside story to me. I mean, I'm still trying to get used to things. But overall, it's been pretty decent. Other than, like I said, trying to get rid of things or get used to things. Fix the, fix the propane leak and all that stuff today. Well, so far, so good. A few things that I just had in the back of the truck, never get a, got a chance to clean it out. First one, uh, insulated number two fiber. <laughs> Trash. Uh, what would a man do with a that is the walk tool. This is the first time I've ever probably even had my hand on a sump pump, so. I don't even know what I'm doing myself. We'll find out here in a second what the, what the uh, outcome is. If it don't blow up on me, I guess I'm fine. Well, I guess I'm, uh, <clears throat> dang bugs are kicking my foot. Alright, got some brass here. More wire. <laughs> All right, let's take this stuff in piles. Let me show the outcome here in a minute. Coded. Number two wire. The coated. Uh, I guess there were ten coated brass ends. There's some copper ends. Very interesting. I've never done one before. And uh, Roger, see you scrapping. I brought my trusty side cuts with me. <coughs> Never go anywhere without your tools. Brass stuff with o rings in around it. That's for all the connectors and crap. It's supposed to be water resistant, waterproof, or whatever. I just got bored and thought I would uh, throw a video up since I haven't been on it in a while. 
rubber. Okay, let's see how this going to go. Yeah, boy. That's going to be fun down for the water. Yeah. No, that wasn't water. That was Earl. That's oil. Holy shit. Holy shit. I just made a mess. I had no idea that that thing was full of oil. Ah. Right here at the dang on campground. Earl. I gotta throw some dirt on that in a minute. Big spot. Holy crap. Ooh. Maybe I should have asked some questions first. Yeah. Mm. Got a good motor in it. Oh god. Well, I don't know now. <laughs> Copper, no, brass. Brass, brass, and brass, and brass. Make sure I throw some dirt on that. Some kind of oil or whatever the hell is in that. More brass, more brass. Damn, I feel stupid for that one. Brass ends. Some of them tin coated. Wire, 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 more wire. There's a lot of birds out here talking. I've got red birds beating the heck out of my truck. Trying to uh, get in my truck. Man, I feel like a dummy. <clears throat> Why would that be full of water or oil? That kind of pisses me off. Got my whole truck coated in oil. You need a box? I got that box of air. Okay. Ferris, non ferris. There's a lot of non ferris materials in here. There's a switch. Brush. That's, that's the float valve. <laughs> Sound like a blinker switch. Uh. <laughs> Ferris material. Brass uh. connector. Ferris material. Mm. Damn. A screwdriver. I don't have one with me right here. It's locked up in my toolbox and I had to jump up in the truck to get it. So I'll just wait. There we go. Those trusty wire cutters will do the job. As long as my fingers don't get in the way. Yeah. Anywho. I'll 
I'll get it eventually. I ain't saving. Worry about them little old bitty pieces. <laughs> Plastic. Uh, throw it in the tote. I'll take it off to the dumpster here in a little bit. Well, we've got some connectors. I mean, uh, brass contacts in here. Silver contacts. There's one side. The other, don't really know what it's gonna be. The other is Ferris. Never seen anything like that. There's the other Daddy, silver. Do what? What about it? Danny wants to know if you are turning the heat on around seven. And it's supposed to be getting cold. You well, that window. you got to close the window and she don't know how to do it. I've got it screwed open. Oh. There's more uh, silver contact material. Actually, it's got brass, coated brass in here. More silver contacts. There's not a lot to a sump pump. A little bit of ferris. And then there's a big motor that evidently is uh, <laughs> full of oil. Look at thing. Oh, uh, shit. Let's see if we can get this motor off of here. <sighs> Dang bugs. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> right in my eye. I don't know how to get that off there. So, mm. this is one of these big long boats. Give it a pop over. I don't know. Let's bend it. Hey! Uh, again, go get a hammer. I think I know why they locked her, they shut her down. It was locked up. Plastic. More metal. Connector plate. Uh, don't know exactly how to get this motor apart there's a nice size motor still got some wire thank you darling shoot i don't know why that thing was filled plumb full of oil hell you figured it would be picking up water instead of oil yeah is what it was in it didn't work anyway did it no it was in that basement So, who knows? Anywho. Clean that oil up. 
see if we can eat. Where's the channel lock screw? If we can get this housing stuff off this motor, it's got a straight screw right there. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it out of there or not. But yep, there we go. Okay, that actually exposes the shaft. So. Motor's not locked up anymore. <laughs> so now I gotta figure out how to get that off of there. Hmm. Damn. There it went. Hey, hey. That's pretty easy. Pretty easy. It's all aluminum except for the shaft. Throw it in there for the time being. I'll take this other plate. It's all steel. Throw that in that bin. Let's see what we got here as far as the windings in the motor. It's a limited motor, but I still throw it in with my uh, motor. Plastic that I throwed in the garbage. Uh, bunch of plastic. More screws at the bottom. I ain't gonna worry about it. Um, very little wire. Very little wire. Let's see. Uh, Brass is brass wire, non ferrous brass cord in, uh, copper number two coated, insulated, more non ferrous or more ferrous. Anyway, this camp. Pretty good. I, I'm gonna enjoy the vacation I have. You know, it's gonna be 10 days total. I go back to work the 8th, my, which is next Monday. But uh, there's the campground back here. This one over here, right? Oh, shit. How do you do this? Uh, right there. Here's my buddy John's. This and here's a lady named Diane. This and here's uh, Paul and his wife. I don't know her name. But uh, other than nobody hardly being here, it's a pretty decent spot. I went and got a load of firewood yesterday. $3 for a bundle. And my God, it's, it's freaking huge. The bundle is nuts. I mean, <laughs> let's walk around it. There's a lot of freaking firewood. I could heat my house for a month with all this. Yeah. Three freaking dollars from the Amish. <clears throat> I'll walk you around the camper real quick. Uh, we got everything going finally. There's the camper. We've got the back wall back in it. No lakes because it's rained since we've been here. But uh let me stretch this thing out where I can I don't know how to 
how to do this selfie stick. Anyway, got the back wall finished. <coughs> and, uh, here's the other side. Pop out, slid out. Sorry, I know this video is going to suck, guys, but I'm not good with this thing. Everything's hooked up. And everything works. We've got a... Another spot right there, we got us a picnic table. We can sit out and chit chat with people. Nobody's came by yet. Uh, anyway, I wish I knew how to flip this camera around. <coughs> I'll take you out here. Uh, let's see everything. It. All right, I got the selfie stick out now. Part of it. <laughs> anyway, there's the playground. There's the playground and uh, stuff for kids up there. And there's the river. And this sucker is about oh, a little over a mile wide. But you can see up here, it goes up there to where I live it's about I don't know we're probably 25 miles from home we ain't far, far. that way is uh, Caseyville and down this other way will be Cave and Rock <coughs> if uh, my buddy John comes back tomorrow he had to take his wife to the hospital she's sick uh, we're gonna go explore a couple places and hopefully have a little more fun. But if the weather straightens out, because I mean, it's really been windy here the last couple days, and we ain't really had a chance to do much or nothing. But uh, it's just part of, you know, getting off of work, taking a vacation, you know, and spending your time with your family and you know your girlfriend and everything else <coughs> just taking a break that's what I needed I get a little fussy at times because you know I'm not used to uh, not doing nothing <coughs> and uh it really gets on my nerves. But anyway, this is going to conclude the video. And I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'm going to try to enjoy the rest of my vacation. Have a nice day.